This is lesson six in module three. In this lesson, we're going to be multiplying multiples of 10 by multiples of 10 with the area model. Let's start with 30, which is a multiple of 10, times 20, which is a multiple of 10. And let's break 30 down into three times 10 and let's break 20 down into 2 times 10. And we know in multiplication, we can change the groupings without changing the answer that we're going to be getting. So let's change the groupings and have 3 times 10 times 2 times 10. So 10 times 2 is 20. So let's look at 3 times 20 times 10. We can now easily multiply 20 times 10, which is 200, and 3 times 200. We know we can multiply 3 times 2 and get 6, and then 10 times 10 is 100, so that would be 600. Let's also show it on a place value chart. So we had here two tens and we're going to multiply by 10 so that we know that that means where it's going to now go to the hundreds column and we're going to do it three times. So we have six hundreds or six hundred the same as we got here. Let's try a different one. Let's go back to 30 times 20 again and let's break it down into 3 times 10 times 2 times 10 but this time we're going to keep the 3 and the 10 together and multiply 3 times 10 is 30 and we're going to put the 10 here times 2 because in multiplication we can change the order and we're going to think of this as 10 groups of 30 two times 10 times 30 I want to do it twice so on our place value chart We have 30, we have three tens, and we're going to multiply by 10, which will give us three hundreds. These three tens multiplied by 10 become three hundreds, and we're going to do it two times. And that's a different way to show our 600. So we can regroup and reorder our factors to make it easier to do our multiplication. Let's go on to another problem. This time we're going to look at 40 times 20, but this time we're going to show it in an area model. So we're going to show 40, 10, uh, 40 as four tens so we have 40 here which is equal to four tens here we have two tens which 
which is 20. And then each of these little squares is 10 times 10, 100. So we're finding the areas of each of the separate rectangles. And we see that we have eight hundreds. We can also write that using units, eight tens, four tens, times two tens, So we can write this as 4 times 10 and 2 times 10. And then we can, as before, we can change the grouping. We're going to put the 4 and the 2 together. And we're going to put the 10 times 10 together. So we have 8 times, and we know 10 times 10 is 100. So 8 hundreds is 800. Let's try another one. Let's try 50 times 40. Again, let's show it in an area model. So we have five tens going this way. That's 50. And here we have four tens. Four tens is 40. And again, we know that each of the individual squares here in our area model is 10 times 10, which is 100. So if we count all of our squares, we see we have 20 times 100. Each of those squares is 100, and there's 20 of them. So we have 20 hundreds, or 2,000. Let's try one more. This time, let's try without drawing the model. 60 times 30. Now we know this is 60 times, this is 6 times 10, and this is 3 times 10. We're going to group the two numbers that are not 10 together, the 6 and the 3, to multiply those. And we're going to take the two 10s and multiply them together. Eight, 6 times 3 is 18, 10 times 10 is 100. So we have 18 hundreds or 1,800. Let's take what we've learned to work some problems in our problem set. Here's our first one. Represent the following problem by drawing this in the place value chart. To solve 20 times 40, we're going to think we have two tens times 4 times 10. So we have 20 times 4 times 10. So let's look at 20. And we're going to do it four times. And we're going to multiply by 10. So we end up with these eight hundreds. So 2 tens times 4, 20 times 4 is 80, times 10 is 800. We can also say 20 times 4 times 10 is also 800, or 20 times 40 is 800. In number 2, show the same problem but using an area model. Okay, let's draw our area model. We know that 40 is 4 tens. And 
and we know that 20 is 2 tens. And if we count here, we have eight hundreds. Or eight hundreds when we're writing it in unit form. Okay, pause the video and try number three. Okay, here our area model. 30 three tens times 40, which is four tens. We know each of these is 10. So the area of each of the rectangles is 100. And if we count, there's 12 of them. So we have 12 hundreds or in number form 2000 1200 stop the video and try number four so let's draw an area model again 50 is five tens Fifty and twenty is two tens. So if we count all together, we have ten hundreds, writing it in unit form, and ten hundreds would be one thousand. Okay, stop the video and try number five. Okay, here. We're going to multiply 2 times 2 is 4, 10 times 10 is 100, 4 hundreds is 400. Try number 6. So here we have 2 tens, 6 tens times 2 tens, 6 times 2 is 12, so we have 12 hundreds and 12 hundreds is 1,200. Try number seven. Here we have seven tens times two tens. When we multiply seven times two, we get 14, 14 hundreds. When we write that, 1,400. Try number eight. We have seven tens times three tens. Seven times three is 21. Three ti 10 times 10 is, hun is hundreds. So we have 21 hundreds, 2,100. Okay, try number nine. Pause the video. Okay, if there are 40 seats in a row, and there are 90 rows. We're going to multiply these two together. So we can write this as 4 tens times 9 tens. 4 times 9 is 36. 10 times 10 is 100. So we have 36 hundreds, which we write as 3,600. Pause the video and try numbers 10. One ticket to the symphony costs $50. And how much money is collected if 80 tickets are sold? So 50, 80 times. Again, we look at 5 times 8 would give us 40. 10 times 10 would be 100, so we have 40 hundreds. 40 hundreds would be 4,000, so they collected $4,000. And that's the end of Lesson 6.